hey guys what's good what's happening it's your girl summer republic and welcome back to another video today i have got an install for you guys it's a not so new wig okay i'm gonna show you guys what the wig looks like what it's given what it's about to give and the best part from this wig is that you guys can purchase it in my amazon storefront in the link down below okay yes you can it is a teapot frontal which means that it only has a middle part and then there's not much there's not much but it, that's what a teapot is okay so without further ado if you're new welcome to my channel join the same gang down below by subscribing okay hit my notification buttons to get notified whenever i do post but let's get into this video if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and supporting me and showing me love love you lots okay let's get into this video and this is whatever you do to say true and show passion when you talk be precise i took a flight for the static you should be all so dramatic i like yes anything you want boy forget it you just make me feel i took a chance and you grabbed it you said don't worry i got it you said so this is the wig that i have guys um I've worn it a couple of times. If you are follow me on TikTok, you have seen this wig a couple of times. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have definitely seen this wig. Okay. So I'm just going to show you guys the inside specs. It is a teapot and there's very little plucking space. It does come with two clips in the front. If you're not comfortable with having clips, you can always cut them and remove them. And then at the back, it does come with a clip as well and it is adjustable in the back okay so i don't usually glue down wigs because i like having a hairline okay and i like not having to stay with the wigs on for too long I just want something I can throw on and throw off. So you can literally customize this wig to the point where it can be glueless. I have already done that. Okay. I plucked a little bit in the front. Plucked a little bit in the middle. It's looking a little dusty. It's looking a little crusty. But we're going to fix that. Literally going to fix that. Okay. So I got my Safeway. Oh, I got my Safeway flat iron. Got my Safeway flat iron, and I'm just gonna switch it on over here. Literally, okay. And then it is at 190 degrees, but I'm gonna bring it down to 170 degrees because that is the amount of heat that this wig can take. This is also a titanium plate. I do need to get myself a ceramic plate uh, flat iron as well. So just to show you guys, as you guys can see, and I will be laying this wig down with some uh, guts to be a free spray. Okay. I got my rat tail comb and I got my edge taming gel. Okay. This is just going to be for the front of the wig and a little bit on the top just to give it that snatched look. Okay. It is a wig, it's gonna look wiggy. We're just making it look really good. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this wig cap a little bit to the back. And then I'm gonna just go in and then I'm gonna go in with my edge control or edge booster gel. And I'm just gonna tuck a little bit of my cyber into here and then comb with it up. How sleek that looks. And then on the other side as well. Okay, now this is a little sticky. I am going to go in with the baby the wig okay I'm just gonna do that tuck the clip back in from the back bring this to the front and then 
berita. So you guys can already see this can be worn like a glueless wig and what I love about this wig is that if you want to bring a curl into a synthetic wig it already has like a natural wig to it but if you want to bring a curl into a synthetic wig you can use hot water and curlers or um yeah curlers basically like your curlers and then you can use the exact same braid method and that will have your wig basically curled the way that you dip your braids is the same way that you will dip the wig okay so i'm just gonna go over and then i'm gonna use an elastic band okay so now that i got some type of band or force holding this down okay i kind of don't want to keep this wave in as much as i do like this wave in so this is going to be my first time straightening this wig and i really want to show you guys how good this hair can actually take heat okay so this wig is around about um 16 inches i think which literally which is just on top of my boob, which is like the longest length. And then it does have layers, uh, longer layers that come like just under the frame of my face. This is now hot with about 170 degrees. And let me just show you guys how beautifully See how nice that is? I want to have like a whole bust down. <laughs> I really like straight wigs. And at the same time, like... This is just basically side by side difference of what the wig looks like straightened and what the wig looks like unstraightened and it's basically what it comes like okay this is straightened and this is unstraightened and if i do want to get this wave back in i can always just use hot water and get it back in <laughs> hey i want to have a buzz down baddie look so we're gonna straighten the wig the rest of this wig so just remember that 170 degrees is the most that it can take the most heat that it can take And look how gorgeous this looks. It still has a bit of a dent here, so. Just gonna straighten this out. I love my glove. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this wig and show you guys like the big reveal. Look at how flat 
this wig is you can literally say that this is my hair it's coming out of my scalp okay the lace is barely visible and this is why i say you can wear it as a glueless wig once you have customized a little bit of it it's still smooth it's still silky and this is just me adding a curl back in see she can be curled giving bust down baddie period.